Now that you've seen how to apply the AND criteria, let's look at the OR criteria. You use the OR criteria when any one criterion must be true in order for the record to be selected. Enter OR criteria on different criteria rows of the query design grid. As you add rows of OR criteria to the query design grid, you increase the number of records selected for the resulting data sheet because the record needs to match only one of the criteria rows to be selected for the data sheet. Now, let's create a new query, and we're going to find the query we just worked on, Adventure Florida. I'm going to right-click that one, and I'm going to say Copy, and then I'm going to click in a blank area here in the navigation pane. I'm going to right-click and Paste, and then ask me to name it. This one is going to be Adventure Cultural Florida. Then I'll click OK, and you'll notice that it added it to my queries list. Now I'm going to right click on the new one, and I'm going to go into Design View. This is another way that we can enter Design View. I've entered Design View, and you'll see here the AND criteria we created earlier. To create OR criteria, we do it on the second and subsequent lines of the data sheet. From here, I'm going to select the second criteria cell under Category. Because it's an OR statement, I'm going to type in Cultural. And then I'm going to go to my data sheet view. You'll notice now I have Adventure and Cultural showing up in my category view. I'm going to go back to Design View. Under Duration, I'm going to put that it is less than or equal to 7. And in State Abbreviation, I also want that to be Florida. So I'll type in FL there. I'll come back to View. And you'll notice I only have those who have a duration equal to or less than 7. And the category is Adventure or Cultural, and it's only showing me those that are in Florida. Now I'm going to right click on my query. I'm going to close it. And if it asks me to save it, I will say yes. That is how you apply the OR criteria.